guys uh so this video is try to uh try to prove that uh or, or you can say that try to argue that uh if you so theorem is that uh, if you uh somehow use uh I use comparison basis so basically I can merge the source or quick source use comparison basis to sort uh one d array uh so one uh so one may assume that the 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 element in the array is uh is a, a rational number a real number uh and then you don't know other uh, other structure so you need this comparison base uh to sort of one d array the mean the minimum time or the minimum uh, comparison you 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 need to did uh you need to do is just uh, uh basically is the time scale at uh, n of n uh so uh this omega means uh, your your time must be larger than n of n uh, uh up to some constant okay so uh, the example is like uh, the merge sort and the uh, quick sort and uh okay uh so this is proof that the there's no linear time sorting uh al algorithms in array okay so uh so uh there so i think this proof is really uh really in not very uh not very uh difficult but it's very uh amusing that it's it's very amusing okay so the key is that uh uh, because you, uh, okay, suppose your array has n elements, so at least it needs it will have it will have like a uh, n factorial uh, uh permutation. So we can assume that these n elements are distinct. So basically, you will have n different uh permutation. Okay, but the key point is that uh, if you do if your algorithm do uh to uh, if your algorithm uh only use k uh comparison so that means if you only use k times comparison then it's obvious that if you if you try to compare two things and then you only use k comparison then that at most and you can you can have uh two to the k uh, two to the k distinct result. Two to the k distinct result. Uh, and, uh, okay. So you 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 at most have two to you at most have two to the k distinct result. Okay. So, uh, so uh, basically, I mean, you can try. Suppose you you try to compare. Uh, you only do three things then at, the at most you will you only have a distinct result okay so which tell you that uh in order to have the correct uh correct output uh you at least need two to the k should larger than uh m factorial so this will give you a lower bound okay so you can use the starting formula uh basically is this uh when n is large enough Okay, so this is a stirring formula. Uh, I I have another video proof that the stirring formula. If you are interested, I can, uh, you you can go to check it. Okay, so uh, from the stirring formula, uh, what we can do is just two to the k to larger than uh two pi n square. Uh, basically, uh, the constant can be uh ignored. Okay, so basically, uh, uh we can take the uh, square uh, ta uh, take a log and uh, because n to n is uh, much larger than this square root of n so so we can neglect this term okay well and when we take a log we get this okay so uh, this is just this uh, this is one if you take basis e then it depends if you take basis two then uh, if I if I take basis two, then uh, this will be k. Okay, so it depends on how you take. Yeah, but if you take basis e, then it's okay. Then 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 this is one, and uh, this is log two. Okay, 
so you see uh this is this is minus n right this is n log n so this term is larger than this so basically you can show that the k is basically larger than at, at least at least uh n log n times some i don't know uh, omega n log n times some constant okay so here we show uh this results this results oh okay so here gives the sub two okay so i think uh this proof is really interesting so i share with you guys and uh hope you can i i will see you guys in the next uh, interesting videos